That's Nadine Moss. She's an acclaimed gospel artist who's based in Atlanta, Georgia, with roots here in the capital. She's known for her vibrant approach to praise and worship in churches and other gospel events. But she says her journey began as a singing toddler. I have been singing from the age of two, and um, God has um, blessed me enough to be in some rooms um, that I only dreamt of. From there, she started to pursue a career in music, only to end up seeing her career take a different turn. Being mentored by my siblings to go into the secular industry. I used to sing in the nightclub and all of that in New York. And the Lord saved me and crashed all of that. It was at that point when Nadine says she decided to go full-time as a gospel artist. And she says it's been a journey ever since. I was able to travel um, all over the United States, in the Caribbean, um, in South Africa. I was able to minister and sing with some gospel greats, you know, um, in full gospel and was able to record with some wonderful people. So I'm grateful. Despite having lots of success as an artist, both locally and internationally, Nadine talks about having to face one of the most grueling experiences during her lifetime. July 29th of 2021, I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. But here's what she says kept her at peace. My devotion that morning had led me to St. John chapter 11, one, to, one through 14. And it talked about when, when Lazarus was sick and his sisters, Mary and Martha, had sent word for Jesus. And uh, when Jesus heard the news, he told the disciples that this sickness was not unto death, but that the Son of God may be glorified. And that is what gave me the courage and the strength to go through this whole um, cancer situation. That's what allowed me to sit up and listen to what the pathologist and the radiologist and all of them, what they had to say. However, she says it was not a walk in the park. Cancer on a whole has a stigma attached to it. And when you hear cancer, you only think of one thing, you know, that it's gonna be over. And so, uh, and furthermore, I have friends and family members who have gone on um, from cancer. So your mind start wondering. So it's, it's a warfare of the mind. Nonetheless, her road to recovery began and it was during an early morning at her residence when she had this life-changing encounter. It had to be around the three, four o'clock hour. I began to worship deeply and there was such a strong presence of God. Uh, in the room and I just felt fire burning all over my body and it was a matter of days later when I had gone back to do uh, my fourth chemotherapy that they did a, an ultrasound and they could not find the tumor anywhere. Nadine says that experience led to the birth of an event dubbed Worship Heals, and that's scheduled on December 16th at Agape Church. We're going to worship until your diagnosis change, until your sickness is reversed, until that difficulty, whatever it is, that impossible situation that you're facing, that will turn around. Because if worship healed me, then worship will heal you. And I'm completely and totally convinced that if God did it for me, he will do it for you also. Jose Atien, Eyewitness News.